so I'm here at Media Aesthetic doing my pre-op. As you guys never see my tummy. This is the room for pre-op. Of course, it. it's like this super big mirror right here. I love it. And then. So, I'm here in the Aesthetics in Miami. I'm getting a BBL with Dr. Palladino. And I'm in my pre op appointment right now. I will be vlogging everything as far as this journey goes and I hope y'all come and watch it with me. Well, I'm here at Mia Aesthetics in the Doral Center. I had just had my pre-op appointment. I got my my BBL pillow, my foams, my ab board. Uh, the weather out here is amazing. I love seeing palm trees. You don't get to see that at home. These trees don't mess up my allergies like the ones at home. Um, okay, so I'm from New Jersey. I'm getting my surgery in Doral. Florida, Miami, with Dr. Wait, the lighting. With Dr. Palladino at Mia Aesthetics. Um, everything checks out. I just got my Faja. I got bought a Faja package. Came with a Faja, three liposomes, ab board, and a BBL pillow for 190, which is amazing. Cause all of that together any other place would have cost a whole lot more um let's see can i get my body i already have a butt i don't know if you can see it back there and my shape i have like a bit a little bit of a tummy a little bit of a tummy but um can't wait for tomorrow i'm super excited i hope i get to vlog everything because i know i'm gonna be in like some kind of pain some kind of pain i remember after my boobs it was a lot so we'll see how it is tomorrow hopefully i can vlog some tomorrow but other than that i will i'm in this video here and Hopefully I can pick up where I left off. Hey YouTubers. So here we are the morning before my surgery. I go into surgery at 11.30. I gotta be at 11. And then like an hour, I'm, um, they gave me this special soap to wash with. So they said to do it right before you come to surgery. So I'm going to do that. Um, am I nervous? I'm not so much nervous that I am kind of like scared to see the pain after surgery is like, Everybody keeps telling me it's like a whole nother monster. And liposuction is like the worst pain of all. So, um, I've had two kids, so I'm going to see exactly how painful this is going to be. I've had kids in 10 years, so I am not really looking forward to that kind of pain. Um... I'm gonna try to vlog a little after my surgery. I'm not sure how loopy I'm gonna feel. If I'm going to pop that pain medicine as soon as they give it to me. And I'm gonna do it every four hours after that. So I'm not like scary. I'm not like, yeah, scary on taking drugs, pain medicine, drugs, or 
I'm not like a drug head or anything, but I do not like pain. I like anything to take it away. So, this is where I'm staying, the recovery house where I'm staying. that any of us gonna be able to sit down at the table. Yeah, none of us are gonna be able to sit down at this table. But it's still pretty decor. I like that couch and like the coloring, I like the painting. And then this painting will be pretty too. I'm not gonna go upstairs in the rooms right now because I have a roommate and she's like watching TV and stuff. So. I have no idea how to edit like these videos. So if you and you watch it and it's all clumped together that's because I have no idea how to edit. Um, but I'm excited um, a little bit now. As we get closer, I get a little excited. I'm still scared of the painful. Um, what are my stats? Well, the lady told me something yesterday at my pre-op that I've never heard in my life. She said that I'm five, six and a half, and I was always told that I'm five, set, five, eight. So, I don't know if her chart is wrong or if the, all the doctors all these years got it wrong. That's crazy. But, five, six and a half, 180 pounds. I know my lips are so red. I hope I didn't eat anything I'm allergic to. I don't know. But, um, what is it? Five, six and a half from what they say at Mia, 180 pounds, my BMI is, was it 26.8 or 28.6, it was one of those, I have to actually go and look at it again, um, let's see, I asked all the questions I think I wanted to ask, I do have to remember to ask today if they can like, tape my surgery on Instagram or on um, Snapchat so that I have an iPhone 7 so I can like tape the screen so like after surgery I can go back and like tape the screen and see my actual surgery which would be cool and I try to post that for you guys as well. Um, so I'm going to end this video here because I have to go and do like the special, use the special soap and go wash and get ready. I can't eat anything and it's killing me because I love food and then food loves me and hopefully, <clears throat> I'm sorry, hopefully after um, surgery I can eat regular food. Not the soup. The soup doesn't do anything for me. I hope, like, I hate hearing uh, girls in these videos saying that their throat hurts after surgery. I don't want my throat to hurt. So, I don't know. I'm going to end this video here. And I'll catch you guys after surgery. So I'm back. I'm here at New Aesthetics waiting to go into surgery. I don't. I'm not so anxious anymore. I'm still a little afraid of the pain after. But I'm ready to just get this over with. I want it to be over with already. Um, so, I keep, keep you guys posted. Hopefully I can make a vlog after after surgery, I don't know how I'm going to be feeling, but hopefully. 
So, wishing it up, guys. I'm going in. So, guys, it's getting real now. I have my IV. The beautiful, I mean, the very handsome Chris came in. He gave it to me. Uh, I just, Dr. Paladino is about to come in and mark me up, and then we'll be ready to go. So, hey guys, I know I've been slacking on my videos. I was just in some kind of pain for a little while. Everything's sore and everything. I can't really see anything. I'm at Post Op Mia Aesthetics. See the Mia van? I'm at Post Op Mia Aesthetics waiting to see you get seen by the doctor so I can go to my body contour and get my massage just for the day. I feel like I'm gonna be a little late because it's taking forever. Hello. Crazy. 